NASA spacecraft detected something weird moving through the Kuiper belt. If we look at the universe around us, it makes us realize how little we know about it, even with the countless discoveries made to date. As the technology has begun to advance, humans have gotten the chance to look even more closely at the astronomical wonders of the universe. One such strange observation by NASA was a strange object that was detected beyond Pluto. After the space agency's spacecraft, New Horizons, was sent to observe Pluto, a strange object was seen in the Kuiper belt, leading researchers to question why they had originally missed this object. Welcome to Mystery Hub, where we unravel the deepest and darkest mysteries of the world for you. In today's video, we are going to talk about the newly found object in the Kuiper belt and how it might help scientists understand early formation of the universe. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. The Kuiper belt is a region of space beyond Neptune that is swarming with small, icy, and ancient objects. Because they are so far from the sun, Kuiper belt objects have only slightly heated since their formation and are thought to be well-preserved samples of what the outer solar system was like following its birth more than 4.5 billion years ago. As early as 2003, the National Academy of Sciences Planetary Decadal Survey strongly recommended that the visit to Pluto include flybys of small Kuiper belt objects, also known as CBOs. They believed that observing multiple targets would provide greater insight into the previously unexplored segment of the solar system. So New Horizons was launched in 2006 with extra fuel for such a flyby, and its power and communication systems were prepared to work at distances beyond Pluto's orbit for years to come. Later, in 2011, mission scientists used ground-based telescopes to begin searching for new targets, but none of the new discoveries were within the reach of New Horizons. So to help them deal with it, in 2014, Hubble Space Telescope joined the search, locating five potential objects in the Kuiper belt. One of them was 2014 MU69, which was labeled 1110113Y after its June 26, 2014 discovery, and also called PT1, or Potential Target 1, after its elevation to one of two possible destinations. Then, after its famous flyby of Pluto in July 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft made history a second time when it buzzed the most distant object ever explored, 2014 MU69. Alan Stern, the New Horizons principal investigator, said after the flyby, We set the record. Never before has a spacecraft explored something so far away. I mean, think of it, we're a billion miles further than Pluto, and now we're going to keep going into the Kuiper belt. Now let's talk about what this strange object is and how it was found. The small Kuiper belt object is officially known as Arakoth, or by its scientific designation, 2014 MU69. It is the most distant and the most primitive object ever explored by a spacecraft, and it's double-lobed meaning it has two rounded pieces in contact with each other, and looks like a partially flattened snowman. In August 2015, the New Horizons team selected 2014 MU69 as its next potential target to study, and ultimately discover the origin of the universe. As Stern said in a statement, 2014 MU69 is a great choice because it is just the kind of ancient KBO formed where it orbits now, that the Decadal Survey desired us to fly by. Moreover, this KBO costs less fuel to reach than other candidate targets, leaving more fuel for the flyby for ancillary science and greater fuel reserves to protect against the unforeseen. Now we know that Arakoth may sound like a little strange name, but do you know that it is not the only name for this weird object? In 2017, the New Horizons team requested suggestions from the public for a nickname for the KBO as part of an outreach campaign. The final decision made about the name was a term called Ultima Thule, and it is a term used in medieval times that means beyond the known world. 
According to NASA officials, the nickname was submitted by about 40 different people. As Stern said, MU-69 is humanity's next Ultima Thule. However, the nickname, Ultima Thule, had some controversy because it's historically used by Nazi forerunners and modern use by extremist groups. Despite the negative criticism, the New Horizons team decided to stick with the nickname. However, in November 2019, mission team members announced that the official name of 2014 MU-69 would be Arakov, a word that means sky in the Powhatan Algonquin language. The name Arakov reflects the inspiration of looking to the skies and wondering about the stars and worlds beyond our own, Stern said in a statement. The desire to learn at the heart of the New Horizon mission and we're honored to join with the Powhatan community and people of Maryland in this celebration of discovery. So a more thorough research was needed to know all about this strange object. Therefore, on January 1, 2019, New Horizons made another high-speed flyby of Arakoth, approaching as close as 2,198 miles of the object. During the encounter, the spacecraft's cameras revealed a world not quite like any explored before. According to the findings and research about the object, Arakot's orbit is located about 4 billion miles from the Sun, or roughly 1 billion miles beyond Pluto. Arakoth is a member of the cold classical Kuiper Belt, a group of objects that makes up about one-third of the Kuiper Belt. The term cold doesn't refer to the surface temperature of the object, but rather to their orbits. Cold classical objects have extremely circular orbits that indicate they haven't been pushed around a lot by the gravity and the giant planets, and that they've probably stayed about the same distance from the Sun since the formation of the solar system. In color and composition, Arakoth resembles many other objects found in its area of Kuiper Belt. It's very red, even redder than Pluto, and is in fact the reddest outer solar system object visited by spacecraft thus far. The reddish hue is believed to be a result of changes in the surface materials caused by ultraviolet light and cosmic rays over billions of years. So how did astronomers discover this mysterious object in the first place? Astronomers used the help of three different stars to study Arakoth before its arrival. When an object like a KBO travels between Earth and a star, astronomers can use the starlight to study the distant target, a technique called stellar occultation. Same was used in the case of Arakoff, which traveled between Earth and several different stars, one each day. On June 3rd, July 10th, and July 17th of 2017, each event lasted only two seconds or so and was only visible from a narrow band of land and sea on Earth. Measurements from all of the three 2017 observations revealed that Arakoth wasn't orbiting where it was expected, and a small blip during the July 10th observation puzzled astronomers because it looked like MU-69 was actually two separate objects. Together, the results suggested that MU-69 wasn't spinning through space alone. During NASA's 2019 flyby of Arakoth, team scientists and engineers gathered at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland to ring the new year and cheer for the moment the spacecraft buzzed the KBO. After the flyby, NASA released the first resolved photos of Ultima Thule revealing that the 21-mile-long object is composed of two roughly spherical lobes. The pair are joined tightly at the neck, where material shines more brightly than along the rest of the object. When the first colored image of the object was released, Term stated, it's a snowman if it's anything at all. So only after the flyby were some of the mysteries finally resolved. In addition, it turned out that the KBO rotated much like the hands of a clock facing the spacecraft, a mystery that was only resolved just before the flyby. The close encounter revealed a roughly 15-hour rotation period of the object. Recent reports have also revealed that New Horizons will take 20 months to send its data back to Earth. Then, scientists will pour over the data for years to come to learn as much as possible about the Kuiper Belt. And it's likely that New Horizons won't stop retrieving information about the Kuiper Belt for quite some time.
Furthermore, according to Stern, the spacecraft should have enough fuel to visit another KBO, as New Horizon will be in the Kuiper Belt until 2027 or 2028. It would be silly not to look for another target, Stern said. So there is a lot that is still hidden from us in the universe, but with the help of the new technology, the universe will slowly and gradually unravel all of its mysteries one by one. And this is it for today. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.